now. So what it's are your sort thoughts of different. on giant anacondas? Like, because there's oh, always boy. been this thing about enormous anacondas that live in the rainforest. So, yeah, there's fascinating. So, I love anacondas. I believe, and I've got a colleague, Brian Fry, um, in Australia, actually, and he, he has a similar belief that there are 30 foot anacondas. Now, 30 is a big anaconda, but you're talking about those mysterious, like, 100 50, footers. 100 footers. Yeah. Okay, so take out the Amazon and take out anacondas for a second. Okay. All right. Think about where all the largest snakes are in the world. Okay? Florida. <laughs> well, now, <laughs> yes. But, um, you know, we've got all these wet tropical environments that, ha that house these yeah. huge snakes. In Indonesia, you have articulated pythons. You have Burmese pythons. You have African rock pythons, Indian rock pythons, anacondas, all these big snakes. Yeah. The only place that has a wet, tropical, humid, high density of prey environment that doesn't have a massive snake is the Congo, Central Africa. Mm, now, interesting. stay with me, These that area is home to some African rock pythons and stuff, but not big monster anaconda-sized ones, right? But during World War II, there was a colonel who flew over there, and this was a well-respected colonel. I'm sure, Jamie, you'll be able to find this very quickly. A well-respected, like, I forget, he had, like, his wings or his, his patch of honor or whatever, like, very distinguished, who him and his two passengers in the plane both reported a hundred foot long snake. They flew over it once. They're like, wait a minute, what is that? They were, they were Dutch Belgium in the Congo. Um, they flew over it once, went, what is that? And flew over it two more times to verify it and got so low to the ground that they said the snake struck at the airplane and all three people, the pilot, this well-respected colonel and the two passengers had the exact same story of this giant snake in Central Africa. Interesting. Yeah, and yet no big snake has ever been proven from there. But it's also a very poorly biologically explored area. Mm. And most of the time, when these animals get this big, snakes or otherwise, they're in very low... Yeah, here's the picture. They they're, took a photo of they it? They did. Yeah, they did. Um, they're in very low densities. So hmm. that's the real photo over on the left there. What did no, they mistake. think it was? They thought it was a giant snake, a 50-foot long... So that's the photo right there? I believe so. Um, but the story's fascinating of these kernels... But they don't know like what kind of snake. They don't know if it was an no. anaconda or no. a python or... It would be an undescribed species because the only snake there, the African rock python, doesn't get that big. What is the biggest snake that we know? Oh, it says it measured approximately 50 feet in length, saw brown-green with a white belly, has a triangle-shaped jaw and a head... Three by two feet. Oh, my God. <laughs> a three-foot head. The photo was later analyzed and verified to be genuine. Van Leerd uh, claims that... Is that how you say his name? I'm not sure, but that was that was the colonel, Remy Van Leerd. As he flew lower for a closer inspection, the snake rose up approximately 10 feet, giving a warning that it would have attacked a helicopter if it had been within striking range. Whoa. But imagine flying over and having a snake sort of lunge at a helicopter. Imagine a three-foot snakehead. Jesus so, Christ. Jamie, do you mind going to my Instagram Literally quickly? Literally swallow you alive Dude, easily. Look, look at this one. I posted a picture day before yesterday. This is 18 feet, and look at the size of it compared to me and how scary the snake is. Um, now, to think of, yeah, like you said, two by, like, you're like a, you're like an M&M &M yeah. to a snake that You're size. You're a tic-tac. Yeah. You're one of them chocolate-covered almonds yeah. that are so good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at the size of that thing. That's an 18-footer. And oh look at how, God. granted, it's not three-foot by two-foot head, but still, that thing, you know. What's like, the weight on something like that? Uh, it was over 200. It broke our scale. Wow. Yeah, it was over 200 pounds.